well it's Saturday again I don't know where the week's gone to but we've just rearranged the little girls cage they have a cargo net and a pink rope now and they're really loving hanging out in their cargo net at the top of the cage and it just covers that little corner um, where I thought there was a bit of a drop that I didn't like so there they are the gorgeous girls there's Maggie, Beth, little Sasha at the back having a little wash she's such a clean little girl and we've got a couple of requests coming up uh, one was to gather all the food advice into one video which we're working on and the other one was the daily routine and that we were already planning um, I think we're probably going to call it a day with fizzy star rats that's work in progress quite a lot of information there to gather together so hoping the little babies will hang around here for a little while so you can see them while I'm talking to you. And the first thing I wanted to say is when I did the last question and answer, um, I didn't mean to, but I think I, I upset a few of the young people who were watching by saying that I didn't really like rats in bedrooms of young children. Now, on a whole, generally, I would still go with that um, quote because... We get so many rats that have been left in children's bedrooms and neglected and also the parents have forgotten about them because they didn't see the rats in front of them every day which is really bad excuse and is the fault of the parent um, as much as the child. But I've had some lovely conversations with young people who watch the channel and I know this wasn't aimed at any of you because you're watching the channel, you want to look after your rats properly and you're all very caring and mature young people. So, um, you know, I do understand that you may have had rats from a younger age but that was because you were mature young people and you've been doing a great job looking after your rats so you know I, I probably just didn't explain myself very well um, and the other thing I didn't mention that was pointed out to me is sometimes rats are safer in, in a child's bedroom because there may be other family members who can't be trusted with the rats so if you have to look at the individual um, circumstances and just do whatever's best for your rats so I have a few questions here and the first one I've got on my list was um, help my young rats have suddenly got smelly and you said rats smell lovely well sorry <laughs> I'm sorry about that they are they do smell lovely but there's a, a term that we came up with that I haven't read anywhere else and we call we say that the rats go through smelly teenage years and we find, with, especially with our female rats, and we have only had male um, rats, adult rats, so I don't know uh, whether, I'm assuming they go through the same sort of phase. I hope my girls stick around. But when the rats get to six weeks old, they hit puberty. And a bit after that, maybe sort of 8, 10, 12 weeks, they go through a little smelly phase. And that is just really what we call the teenage years. And the rats are just growing up and maturing and they just get a little bit smelly. Their urine gets a bit stronger and they have a sort of warm musky smell. But don't worry, that does pass. It is only for a couple of weeks. And um, it's just your baby's growing up basically. And another question that I was asked, um, oh, just change their bedding, you know, their wet bedding as their urine gets uh, stronger. Just change the wet bedding more frequently. Um, another question was, when are my rats fully grown? Well, between birth and three months, rats grow extremely rapidly. Between three and six months, they're still growing quite rapidly, but they slow down. At six months, they're considered mature but they're not fully grown until around about one year. But the thing to remember is rats continue to grow throughout their whole life, so even when they're over a year, they will be growing, but very, very slowly. You'll probably only notice this if you weigh your rats regularly. And that leads me into why do you weigh your rats? Well, that's because weight loss is often the first sign of illness, and it means if you notice a rat is losing weight, you can be vigilant and uh, keep an eye on that, that rat and you know if you spot signs of illness it's always easier to treat the illness if you catch it early <laughs> little Maggie's face over there little Maggie hey Maggie 
Um, it says another one was what's your favourite video that you've put on your channel? Well I don't have a particular favourite but I do love the playtime videos so I'd say any of the rats having fun I, w I would class those in my group of favourites. Um, do you have a video that you didn't enjoy doing or you don't like? And there's, there's quite a few, especially with some of the early videos, that I think maybe could have been better. And that's why we do updates. But the thing that I really don't enjoy filming so much is the food videos. And that's because um, things change all the time with the food. And you find that even... <laughs> there's a rat on her back down there, two little legs kicking. You find that even... Um, foods that have been considered safe for many years suddenly they're they're labelled as bad or dangerous and then you get people saying oh why do you feed that to your rats so I find the food ones the most difficult and the ones I don't enjoy as much um, do you teach your rats tricks well you may have seen we do rat agility for fun and we started that two years ago after watching some rats do learning tricks on YouTube and seeing that people were just basically stuffing their rats full of sweet sugary treats and uh, we decided that's not very healthy so we wanted to show people that if you start rats early and make, make learning fun then the rats will do tricks and things without you feeding them lots of sugar but we don't actually start teaching any tricks until the rats are over three months um, old because during the first three months of rapid growth the bones are developing and you know they're fairly soft the bones and we wouldn't want any rat to do anything that they wouldn't naturally do that may injure themselves. Um, my son does tr teach a few actual tricks such as spinning and standing but we do tend to concentrate more on the bat agility which is fun and good exercise. Um, just talking about tricks, I find it quite um, upsetting and annoying to see some people will put the video before the safety of their rats and there are some rats being taught tricks that are positively dangerous. We've seen rats have falls on videos and the people obviously don't care, they're just interested in getting a good video with lots of thumbs up and lots of likes. So always, always put the safety of your rat before any trick. Never put your rats at risk. <coughs> um, do we go to rat shows? That's that's no. Um, I would like to see other people's rats there, but I don't like the show situation. I think they're stressful to rats. The rats have to travel a long way sometimes. They're kept in tiny cages all day. I've seen rats in cages with no water or food. Um, I think it's noisy and there's a risk of infection, so I don't go to rat shows. Um, have I ever bred rats? And that's that's a no, because there's far too many rats needing new homes. I think we've lost our babies into the bed for now. Let's see if we can get them back. Hey, babies. Do you want some breakfast? Have some breakfast. Have a little sweeties, a little cheerio. Now, there we go. Well, there's little Sasha. She likes her cheerio. Um, how many times have you been bitten? I've basically lost count. I've never been bitten by a rat we've had since a baby, but always only just by rescue rats. And I've lots of warning bites and quite a few that have drawn blood. And yes, it is very painful. But the rats, rescue rats, once they've learned to trust us, they have always stopped biting and turned into very affectionate and sweet girls. And another question was, have I ever got ill from my rats? And the answer to that is no. If I do get a rat bite, I let the bite bleed out uh, to clean the wound. I wash it with hot soapy water and then I use an antibacterial spray on it. And I've never had a problem. If you should have any rat bites and you get unwell, you should always see your doctor straight away or if there's any red, redness or swelling. But if you, if you make sure it's clean and keep it clean, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. Um, is it safe to let my other pets play with my rats? Now, some people do, 
we don't have any other animals and I would say to be extremely careful and cautious never ever leave them alone for a minute make sure your other animals cannot get access to your rats when you're not available if possible keep the rats in another room when you're not in, at the house uh, because I've heard of too many instances of where animals have seemingly got on but the minute the owner's not present the dogs, birds even um, cats have got rid hold of the rat and either injured or killed them so it proceed with caution however well they get on when you leave the room that is like a toddler leaving a toddler with a baby what made you start rescuing rats um, well we wanted rats I've always wanted rats and I'd had lots of other animals and then Suddenly my daughter came home and said that one of her friends was fed up with her rats and her mum was going to dump them at the pet shop unless she found a home for them that day. And this, this child was a typical of, the, of the, one of the reasons that rats get rehomed. She had a new animal, she had a cat and she lost interest. So the poor rats who were coming to the end of their life were just abandoned. They were over two and we took them in and that was the start of everything they didn't live very long and from there on it just accelerated at first we only would rescue two or three or four rats at a time and then over the last few years our numbers grew to eight and up to fifteen um, so yeah that, that is basically our rescuing and what we've done and I think that was all of the questions for this week the one other thing was what do you cover your ladders with in your big Suffolk house in the Royal Suite 95 cage and I got this idea from my friend Sarah um, I get some ladies she uses knee high socks and I couldn't get them so I got ladies over the, over the knee socks which are 75% cotton 22% polyester 3% lycra they're a bit long but I tuck the foot in at the, underneath at the back of the ladder and they fit perfectly then and they just protect the rat's feet from the bars so that's my little Sasha and I think that's all for my questions and answers um, if you, you have a question you want to ask then let me know and I'm sure in a few months time we will do another question and answer.